What is up guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make some cool line art in Dreams PS4. Guys, feel free to subscribe and if it's at our streaming at the top, feel free to pop in the stream. Um, I test out people's games while playing Hollow Knight, Undertale, Dreams PS4, and Deltarune all on the same stream. So today we're going to learn how to make some pretty cool line art in Dreams. You want to go into Sculpture Mode, you don't have to start out in Sculpture Mode, but I like to because then it starts you out with a nice canvas that you can draw upon. If you guys are interested in joining a Dreams Amino, tell me in the comment section below. If you need to, hold the options uh, menu to uh, center your imp. That way you can get con comfortable with your controller. Change the color of your cube to whatever color you'd like it to be. It doesn't have to be white. But make sure you change the color to whatever prominent color that you want to change it to. After resizing the cube to a decent size for you to be able to draw on enough enough scale, feel free to press square and then exit sculpt mode. Next, click on modes and then go to paint mode from paint mode you want to click the guides menu and put on surface snap that way it goes directly onto your canvas whenever you're drawing you can also use the grids and other things to pretty much make sure your stuff is as precise as possible what we'll want to do next is actually mess with the paint brushes the paint brushes are under flicks these are the paint brushes that you can use to create things I just want to use the heavy because the heavy is actually really good with just making solid lines. If you wanted to make lines, just line lines, you, uh, you could just go into the ruler mode and it'll make some pretty decent, you know, lines so that way you don't have to uh, freehand it if that makes sense. So that's how you do that. Right now we're just changing the color to black because black makes it look like a prominent line and that's what we're looking for. If you were to click on a surface, any surface then it would change it to that color while you're choosing color. So make sure you don't change, uh, click on your square and just press circle. Next, we want to go to add a, fl add a flick. If you uh, have the scatter up on your flick, you'll be able to make cool abstract art such as this because it'll make the flick scatter compared to if it's turned all the way down, it'll make sure that the flicks don't scatter and it'll just be a straight line. After pressing square and getting your menu back, you'll want to make sure that your ruler mode is off if you happen to click it. Then you'll want to click on brush flicks, uh, the brush uh, tool right here. After that, turn on mirror mode. And now we are ready to draw our butterfly. I believe the scatter is a little bit on. Let me actually make sure this is turned all the way down. Okay. You'll want to add eyes to your butterfly just by pressing X. If you press X, it'll instantly make the eyes as dark as possible, whereas pressing R2 will make it a shade. Next, you want to add some lines to make your wings more prominent. And that would be how you would make a butterfly in dreams or any other insect. It's really fun to make pattern art like this because it really shows what Dreams is actually capable of outside of what people would think it's capable of while being able to do pretty much anything you can set your mind to because Dreams is pretty much limitless. And the more you add on to things, the better things start looking. If you wanted to make a flower, it's easy to turn a butterfly into a flower. All you'd have to do is make puddles. And just like that, it starts looking like a flower. Next, what you want to do is exit the mode if you want to complete your flower. I recommend using the ruler tool, changing it to whatever color you need to change it to. I'm going to go with black since we're just doing line art. I'm going to turn off mirror. I'm going to 
turn down the brush. And just like that, we have a flower. Next, I'm going to draw some stems for the flower. And nothing has to completely connect in art. I've done some pretty cool artwork myself where I don't make things completely connect, which is my style of art, which is why I do that. If you would like to replicate that and add it to your art journey, feel free to. Next, we're going to try to find a good paintbrush for leaves. The triangle works fine, but let's see. Let's think outside the box. It looks like uh, tree branches, the splat, or not tree branches, like tree leaves. Um, honestly, I think the triangle is the best for this. Let's turn down the opacity a little bit. Turning down the opacity are pretty much, you know, make it whatever thing you want to make it to and that's what scatter does I think I explained that let's see here so these are petals am I going to do this uh, I think like that will be fine I think yeah okay let's change the color of it I'm going to go ahead and work on the inside part. I might change the inside part to like a blue. Artwork is a lot of trial and error. Most of the time, your mistakes will become your greatest asset, though, in art. If that makes sense. So don't be like, you know, so caught up if something doesn't like become exactly what you thought it would be. Let's see, let's see if we can trace over that dark. Change the shape to heavy. Oh, that's cool. trying to figure this out. I'm really trying to figure this out. I don't think these mistakes are good though. Let's see here. There's got to be a way to do this. I think it would just be using line. Yeah. If you use line, then it'll be sure. Yeah, that's how you do it. There we go. So as you can see, you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here, what I kind of was trying to go for. Sometimes it takes a little bit just to learn things. I know it's not like, you know, everything's the same color, but I don't want to make this tutorial more long than it needs to be. I just want people to have a basic understanding of how to do this kind of stuff.
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to test it out yourself and make your own dreams. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I hope you guys have a marvelous day.